Okay, man, let's get right into it. I'm definitely in no rush. I've been waiting on these forever. Um, so really, really would like to show these cards off. So they're not all wrestling. So if you think this is just going to be a re uh, wrestling submission, that's not your thing. Stick around, please. It'll uh, it'll be worth your time, I promise. So here's a 1988 NWA Superstars, Ricky Morton. Um, at the time, I had bought a huge wrestling autograph lot of about two, three hundred cards. And I just wanted to see if some of these were real. So I think that's the only reason I submitted this. Not that anybody would be forging Ricky Morton autographs, but that was my thinking at the time. Next is 1987 Opeachy Ricky the Dragon Steamboat card. This was a TTM. Absolute beauty, man. And the thing with these dual service um, versus a PSA DNA submission is look at the, uh, they call that the flip. Look at the flip. It actually describes um, the details of the card, the year, um, the manufacturer, and, and all that versus just a PSA flip or a basic flip, as I like to call it, with just a trading card at the top. Brutus Beefcake Rookie in this 1985 Tops. I'm wanting to say I got this Ricky Steamboat as the same time I got that 87 Opeachy. Um, but these cards here were actually cut out of a magazine. A Tito Santana rookie on this 85 tops. This one's a stunner, man. At the time, I had never seen this next card, and this was, you know, a year and a half ago almost, and I still have not seen these. Um, so this is a 1992 Disney um, Limit comic, Papa Shango, and you see right there on the flip, it's uh, from a German magazine, a German Disney magazine. It's really cool, that PSA, you can see it's in German right there. Or I would read it. <laughs> um, PSA uh, had to probably dig deep to have the research for this card. And then the last wrestling card is this is a 2020 Topps Chrome Luke Gallows Super Fractor that I sent in to a signing. I forget with what company, but. That is that. Moving on to some 1961 Fleer Clef Hagen rookie basketball Hall of Famer. Has here are the Hall of Fame and then six time All Star. Nineteen eighty tops Ricky Henderson rookie. nineteen fifty eight tops Orlando Cepeda rookie. This was TTM, believe it or not. He recently started uh picking up a pen um to sign his fan mail, but I can't imagine that lasting too long. I got both of these at the same exact time via TTM. Just an incredible return. 2018, 2019 Panini Prism. These aren't the um, silvers where they look like uh, refractors. These are just the base. Um, but nonetheless, really happy to have these in the collection. Twenty twelve Panini Prism Bobby Wagner, one hell of a football player. Big time um, part of the Legion of Boom back in the day when the uh, Seattle Seahawks were really, really big deal. You have to pardon me, guys. <laughs> I keep, I just woke up, man, probably less than five minutes ago, and I haven't even had any coffee. So I'm kind of spaced out I'm trying to collect my bearings here, but all the kiddos are asleep. So I got to do these videos when it's quiet in the house. I'm about one. 
about two, about three. 1956 tops Lenny Moore rookies. Um, Lenny Moore has just been amazing TTM signer for decades. And this rookie card itself, um, not signed, isn't that expensive. Um, so if you want to get a vintage Hall of Fame um, rookie um, guy to sign via TTM, these cards look absolutely amazing. And he's just about as a guarantee as it gets um, when it comes to um, writing athletes through the mail. 1958 tops Sonny Jurgensen and his brother. The 1958 tops Sonny Jurgensen. <laughs> And these dual service submissions, and it just doesn't get any better than that, in my opinion. I just absolutely love them. So this last stack is kind of the bigger cards. And you'll see here, oh, they're still sticking together. You'll still see here a player run that I've been working on. And I have to see which ones I have currently to see if I was able to finish this player era project or not. But here's the 2004 Tops Peyton Manning, two thousand five, and all of these were obtained via TTM. And there was a time not too long ago when he was really, really good at signing his fan mail through his foundation, and that has since changed. He's gotten extremely tough. Um, I think a lot of people were sending smaller and smaller donations, and then he got more and more popular um, as the Hall of Fame came closer. And I think he had to kind of shut it down for the most part. 2010. Another 2010. He was in the set, I believe, three times. This is the Fantasy Studs subset from 2015 Tops. And that's it for Peyton Manning. One of my all-time favorite football players being um, in Houston, or with the Texans, I should say, um, and would probably be the first Texan to ever be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Andre Johnson. Signed 2003 rookie. Sent this into a signing. Um, if I would have known then what I know now, I probably would have splurged to get something sexy to send, like a, a black refractor or something along those lines. Um, but nonetheless, this is a gorgeous card. Really nice card. How was this for a TTM success? <laughs> the 1986. 1989 and 1996 Dan Marino's um, these were all obtained via TTM not at the same time um, you could see this one here is in black um, but I normally I got them back two or three times and each time I was able to get him to sign two cards so he's gotten a lot tougher <laughs> since I was able to ob obtain these through the mail um, really, really happy to get these three encased. And I think I'm only, I think I'm less than five away from having his player era project complete. And now to the last three big boys. Um, these are just monsters, um, in my opinion. And if they're not monsters in your opinion, I'd love to hear why. Um, but how about this? 1968 Jerry Kuzman rookie signed by Nolan, signed by Nolan Ryan. Um, of course, the, the Nolan Ryan rookie, um, just a monster card with his Hall of Fame inscription. And how about his, his friend? Another 1968 Tops rookie. This one signed by Kuzman and Nolan Ryan. So... I remember at the time, 
these cards were about 400 bucks or so when I was buying these cards raw and being so nervous to send them to, uh, send this bottom one to Jerry Kuzman via TTM because, you know, Mr. Kuzman was one hell of a, of a baseball player for quite a while. Um, but let's be honest, he's not Nolan Ryan. So I was kind of nervous sending a card that expensive to him, but he did an amazing job. And then the last one, the card that the whole time the submission was out, um, I was just freaking out like, oh my gosh, is this card ever going to get back in my collection? And this card was at PSA through the entire climax of the craziness through the hobby. And it has since gone down in value as, as most cards have. Um, but this is just a ridiculous card. <laughs> I'm like sitting here staring at it off camera. Um, and this is the 1998 Topps Chrome Refractor um, Peyton Manning rookie card. And this, oh man, this lighting in here does not do it justice. And all you can see is glare. But this thing has so much shine. It's absolutely gorgeous. You could see, well, heck, you really can't even see it. There's some etching for my friend and yours. Those back pages would say etching. So that is that. That's the 33 card um, submission that came back, personal submission. Um, I appreciate everyone watching. Till next time, adios, be safe, bye-bye. Toodles.